I really was terrified of things flying on me. So I like, I, my best choice was to stay in the house. Adios, amigos. Kyla Jackson says she used to like the great indoors. I was a homebody, to be honest. I wasn't really adventurous as much as I am now, because I explore everything now. For the past six years, Danae and Kyla have participated in City Kids, a nonprofit program that works to empower children and teens by connecting them with nature. For me, it reveals stress. Like me being outside, like just like try not to worry about things. In nature, like you can just go away for yourself. Like, you know, if you're around other people, you can step away and go relax. Danae and Kyla say they get what the experts are talking about. Fantastic. Kids need nature, especially after a year of pandemic lockdowns. Kids were locked in their rooms, they were on their screens. Yeah. What impact have you seen that has had? Talking, you know, anxiety, uh, depression, um, they, they aren't as social anymore. They're losing like social skills and communication skills because they are locked up inside. Paige McLaughlin is program manager for City Kids. DC shut down parks, yeah. playgrounds. Mm -hmm. The message to kids was don't go outside. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because um, at the outdoors is, is so healing. The healing powers of nature are well documented. Blood pressure, diabetes, attention deficit disorder all improve with some time outside. Just to walk through trees in an urban park and the symptoms of attention deficit go down with kids as young as five years old. Arthur Richard Louvre coined the phrase nature deficit disorder to capture what's happening in our online generation. As a species, we are hardwired to have an affiliation with the rest of nature. We need the rest of nature. When we don't get enough of it, we don't do so well. But most kids aren't getting it. A recent study showed kids spend only four to seven minutes a day of unstructured play outside versus an average of seven and a half hours on electronic media. A study in the UK paints an even bleaker picture. Kids spend about the same amount of time outdoors as inmates in prisons. The lockdowns made it worse. City kids also had to cancel their programs, including their annual trip to Wyoming, which aims to teach kids things like perseverance and resilience. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna do this page. We do things that are difficult. So we go kayaking, we go whitewater rafting, we go camping, we go backpacking. And we do things that are hard, and a little scary. A little scary, absolutely scary, uh, but attainable. City kids told me, like, never, it's not in your vocabulary, because you could always do something. As long as you push yourself, you could do it. The lockdowns hit these high school seniors hard. It was really sad for me, because, like, I even cried at my home. Because it was, yeah, I cried, because, like, city kids, it brings a lot of stress off. And now, as they get ready to head off to college, they see the struggle of stepping back out into the world going back into the real world and going back to your normal routine, that's been really hard. We're used to being virtual. We're used to just seeing people on the screen. Being at home. Being at home, being by yourself, not really doing anything. So it became very difficult. But they know the answer is right outside. It's almost like an automatic switch and you see the happiness return. You see them ready to try anything. It's really important what we're doing now um, because we see the healing that's happening with our children when we are able to do outdoor activities. So it's like they come outside and it's like a switch. Exactly. It, it literally is a switch. Three. Jan Crawford, Sandy Spring, Maryland. Residents of Mayfield, Kentucky lost nearly everything they own to deadly tornadoes, but many of them are still offering a helping hand to their neighbors. Mola Lenghi reports. Catherine L. Pai Wong owns a food truck in Louisville, Kentucky. Actually, I just put up my truck for the winter. We're done. Or so she thought. <laughs> 